Okay, so now we continue with the experiment. So Beckett, yeah. tell me what you have in the little cup. What do you have in here? Citric acid. Citric acid, two scoops. And baking soda. And baking soda in that little cup. So what do we think is going to happen to that, Izzy? Turn into slime. It's what? Turn into slime. Slime? <laughs> I don't... It's not what this said. <laughs> Isn't that what the kit is? No. Yes, it's supposed to be for slime. You might get some slime when you finally get further. This talked about the dancing powders. I think this is how you get like a volcano to go. It's a swirl the cup around to mix the powders together. No, it, it said swirl the cup. It didn't say use the spoon. Okay. If we're going to be really precise, swirl. You know, swirl. Yeah, swirl. Just go like that. But don't, don't spill it out. Okay. All right. So let's see what's next. See what's next on the list. I can't read it. It's not coming into focus. Where is it going to focus for me? Okay. There, it started to. There it is. Fill the second cup halfway with water. Get ready to, to dance. Second cup. Halfway with water. Halfway. Okay. So let's get that water off. Okay. Pour the water into the cup and back up with the powders. It's dancing. Grammy's here to watch as well. Here we go. Pour it all in. Pour it all in. Oh, I'm scared. I'm scared. Oh. Now remember what it's making. What's the gas that's coming bubbles. off? Bubbles. It's making bubbles. That's good. You remember what they said the gas was? Carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide. And what did they tell us? We had to make that in an open cup because something that was closed, all that gas would add pressure to it and it might make it explode. So we don't want that to happen. Okay? But all right. We'll go around the house. We'll go around the house? Would it? The explosion would? It would go on the carpets. It might. It that, might stick. I, I, think, I would say that that experiment was completely underwhelming. Well, we're not done. Can I touch it? It says if you use very warm water to do it this time, because that was that was kind of cool water last time. What do you think will happen if it's really warm water? It will bubble to the top. Bubble to the top? Explode. I don't know that we have anything here that's going to explode, but I think it will work more quickly and be more violent. So let's try. We're going to pour it in here. Let's watch what it does. Oh, see how it bubbled much more quickly? Yeah. And they were bigger bubbles and they went right away? So, what did we discover when you make the water hotter? What happened? It's just water now, Beckett. It went quicker and a little bit more violently, didn't it? Yeah, I don't know whether you're hurting the spoon by putting it in there like that or not. Oh, it's hot. Okay, moving on to the next one. You ready? Okay. All right, into the water. Wow, what color did that go? Purple. All right, let's go here. Okay, now you've got two cups of purple water. Get ready to blow your mind. Add one medium, I think you can put the water aside. Add one medium scoop of baking soda to one of the cups and stir it. Not a good job. And stir it. This pan. Be prepared for your mind to change. I see what it's doing down below. What color did it become? It became blue. It changed color. Add one medium scoop of citric acid to the other cup. So now you're going to have a blue one and you're going to have a purple one. Let's see what happens when you put the citric acid. And it wonders what 
color it changes to. Want to stir it? Let's see what happens. Yeah, oh, well, I can tell already at the bottom. Let's see what happens. Turn it pink. Wow. That's pretty cool. So now you have blue and you have pink. Put the third cup on the plate or tray. Pour about one third of your red water into this cup. One third? One third. Okay, stop. It's enough. It's enough. One third of the. Pour one third of your red into this cup. Pour one third of your blue water into the same cup. It changed back to purple, and it's fizzy with bubbles this time. You want to stir again? Okay. To make sure you get your mixture in there. Well, it got fizzy, but not too much. I see some bubbles. You see them? I can see them along the outside edge of it. That's for sure. Look, we got purple, fizzy, we got red, and we got blues. You think that would be good to drink? No. Good. I don't think so either. Okay. This says, keep up the fun. Add one medium scoop of baking soda to the purple cup and stir it in. What do you think is going to happen? It's going to turn pink. It's going to fizz again. Did it turn bluer? It says here. Yeah, it's darker. Wait for the foam to go away and then add another medium scoop of baking soda to the cup. Did it turn even bluer? Yeah, it's almost black. Okay, I'm assuming this is to the same cup. Add one medium scoop of citric acid to the cup, but don't stir it. Got it. And we're gonna watch it change color from the top to the bottom. Ooh. <laughs> don't touch it. Dang. Wait for the foam to go away and then add another medium scoop of citric acid. <clears throat> it's back to purple again. Citric acid. As you add more of the acid, it goes from basic to very acid. So that cup that you've been putting all the, listen to me, this last cup that you've been putting all the stuff into is very acidic now. So that means, it, yeah, that means if you put your finger in and leave your finger in, it might start to hurt your finger because it could be like an acid in there. I think we've really seen what was going on with that one, don't you think? That was pretty interesting, the color changes.